Okay, for those of you watching this on YouTube, this is a recording of what was a live stream on Ustream.tv. If you'd like to come and join in the live chat with me and the ladies and occasional gentlemen here and there, uh, go to Ustream.tv, search for Inky Obsessions, click follow, and you should be notified whenever I go live or schedule an event. So, good morning and happy Mother's Day to everybody. I see Carol's out there too. Uh, just joined. I was chatting to the ladies before I actually started to record today. Um, so anyway, here's where I ended up with those, uh, the collage I cut up into artist training cards. Last time I did with another watercolor background. I'll show you a few of these, how they turned out. Um, I like, I'll show you a better example. I like how I did this, the Black Jones die cuts. And then put a white ink line down them and kind of broke that up with black and white. Here's one. It's got some of that fuzzy paper on it, so it's very three-dimensional. See that silver flash of that pen? Eileen! Hello, dear. So anyway, um, it's got some cool colors on it. Mama like! right so there you have it for these in my in my box of cards for my Etsy orders which reminds me I got to ship an order out today too um, goes down the way so I wasn't sure what I was going to do today I only have a couple hours but I wanted to go back and show you this swatch is actually, of course, now it's dry. But these are all the um, the metallic watercolors that I swatched last last time. And now you can really see the reflection in those. Um, these were the Fine Tech and that black palette. And these were the Gonzai Tombi gold set. And these were the Japanese watercolors that have black in with all of them. You can see there are a little bit more color in there now. But that was just laying in my face, so I thought I'd show you that. And I was playing with my Daniel Smith swatches the other night. I wanted to order some more uh, watercolors from Chandra at Artistic Cat on Etsy, K-A-T-T. -T. Um, and I wanted to make sure I didn't duplicate because I do that. So I went through this. I swatched them all out on the dot cards, and then I put a little mark around the ones that I have so that I didn't end up with three fallow turquoise, which I'm sure I would. And these came out kind of cool, all the iridescent ones with that show on the camera. Sparkly, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, so I thought I would make some uh, collage fodder, shall we call it, with them. Um, Uh, I noticed the last couple times I did collages, I was out of my little collaged and embossed pictograph, so I think I might just play with that stuff today. Maybe a little Daddy Vans. <clears throat> hey, Lynn. These are all kind of mungled up. I'm going to use this um, really thin deli. Uh, this is the Dixie Wrap, I think. Yeah, this is this one, Dixie Wrap. You can get it at Sam's Online. Um, and that's all it says is Dixie All-Purpose Food Wrap. But this is, hey, Shauna. This is, hey, Debbie, uh, really thin. Um, and if you put Daddy Vans on both sides of this, you can no longer find this piece of paper. It goes really transparent. Whereas my other that I love for painted papers, which is the quick wrap, this one. These are both available at Sam's Club online in the US. Um, this one is a little sturdier. And you can even see the difference in kind of looking through it at my hand. But this one over here is a little thinner. But see how it kind of heathered look to it? And this one's more solid. 
This one's stronger. This is what I make my painted papers out of. Maybe I'll do some of those too because I'm, I'm running low on those. Hey, Kimberly. So maybe we'll do some of each. But I definitely need some more pictographs in my life. So I think what I will do is um, I want to emboss some. I'm going to use some of these different powders I never use. This one's Stampendous called Aged Aqua. I'm going to try to make some with that since turquoise falls in most of my collages, as we know. I'm going to, uh, but this is cool. See how it's got that agey kind of stuff in there? There's a good picture. That's pretty cool stuff. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to get out a couple of my stamps. I'm going to make some of these bigger. Oh, maybe I'll do some feathers too. Oh, a mermaid's tails maybe. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I don't want the black ink. I want my Versa Mark. Primary elements video you shared. Isn't that crazy? That's really, that. I'm telling you, those primary elements and those pores that these girls are doing, I started to collect um, the supplies for doing that. And I'm going to do that at some point. It's just been so crazy. Most of you probably know that I was in the hospital, I guess now a couple weeks ago. I ended up with food poisoning, was sick as a dog for two days, and uh, ended up uh, in the hospital for two more days. And then as soon as I got out of there, I had to travel to Chicago for work <laughs> and got back. And then I had the day after I got back, we had a going away party here at the house for one of my guys at work that I've worked with forever. Uh, I was moving overseas and um, I had a party here at the house for him. And then what happened? I don't know. It's like one, <laughs> one thing after the other. I can't catch a break and I can't, uh, I had a couple hours today, and I thought, I'm going to stream while I got a couple hours. I don't care what I do, but anyway, you know, shit happens. Oh, that was kind of actually the uh, operative word for my food poisoning. <laughs> oh, God. Let's not do that again anytime soon, shall we? So I'm just going to stamp with Versamark. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Beth. Oh, it was a doozy. I lost 12 pounds in 36 hours. Not the easy way. Of course, with just my luck, after I got out of two days in the hospital and nine bags of fluid and very salty broth they were giving me, I was up 15 pounds. So <laughs> that's how it rolls for me. But that's okay. It's it's over. That's all I care about. Um, hey, CB. So I'm going to use a piece of this. Where's the stronger stuff? Here, I'm going to use a piece of this under here to catch some of this excess. I'm not that familiar with um, embossing. Daddy, did your boss like the box you... Oh, yes, he did. He loved it. Hey, Sandra. He said it was the nicest gift he's ever gotten. Which, um, that might be a stretch, but bless his heart. <laughs> I'm not sure like how long this will stay wet if I could like stamp more than just this one area and still have this Versamark work. I don't know. So to be safe, I'll just go ahead and heat up each one of these as I do it. Oh, and see what I didn't do? Those of you who emboss, I didn't use my stuff so it doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick. And now I have a little schmutz on there, but that's okay. I will use the schmutz to my advantage. All right, um, where is that thing? Where is that thing? Oh, I think it's in my very neatly organized drawer for all my embossing items. Let's see. Oh, there it is. What do you know? I've got this and I've got this. I'll keep them in my face there so I might remember to do that. But this one's a little, a little schmutzy, but that's okay. Get some heat going. Let's see how this looks to see if I want to do more of these or not. Heat gun.
Ooh, that looks pretty. Oh, wow. That's very sparkly. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see if you guys can see this. Um, it's a lot shimmerier than I expected it to be. It's subtle, but it, there you go. See those flecks of gold and black coming up through there? That's kind of cool. I think Mama can use that somewhere. <laughs> Let's do some more. Oh, see what I did? See what I didn't do? It's right in my face. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're going to try to pour too? I know. I just, I can't wait to do it. I got to get a couple like dish pans or something from the dollar store to collect all the excess slop. But, um, but you guys should follow, um, Leslie Onstad on her, um, Hey Tam, uh, on her channel. Uh, and her Facebook page for colorart.com. See, it's color with a U and art with an E. Um, she is doing some really incredible pours, and she sent some of her primary elements to Anne Marie Ritterhoff. If you guys don't know Anne Marie Ritterhoff, find her channel on YouTube and follow her. She's really sweet. She shares everything. She does videos, sometimes multiple videos a day. And, um, she's now like going nuts over these primary elements and what they're doing to her pores that were already kind of fabulous. But I'm telling you, those, those, I've got a lot of pigments and I'm telling you, the color art pigments are the way to go. They have the, they're so dense and vibrant and the, the, the color mixes that she makes and they're all made by hand in the U.S., so it's really, really good stuff. Um, be good. Oh, that sounds like fun, Debbie. Holding classes there for that stuff. I wish you could join us sometime in Maryland one year. Of course, I wish everybody could. Oh, with the magicals, and I wasn't wild about those, Eileen. I had a, few, I've got a few of them. Eh. The black one was kind of cool because it turns multicolors. I think that's the one. Hey, shells. Um. I wasn't wild about those, to tell you the truth. And I usually like Lindy's stuff, but they didn't wow me. I only played with them once or twice, so maybe I need to play with them more, but eh. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I'm going to have to hold this in my hand and not put it down. Like, what the hell? Oh, that'd be great, then. Oh, where did I put that box? I brought down a box that had the stuff you sent me, Debbie, in it. Um... Do a row of these, and then a row of something else, and then we'll get the daddy vans out, get it all slickered up. Oops, hello. Big gun. Hey, Gail. Big difference in my opinion, CB. Big difference. In the magicals and the color art, the primary elements. And right now, Leslie has 25% off on her website, colorart.com. Um, 
for anybody that might be interested in trying a few of those. This is really kind of cool. Mama like that. All right, let's do something else. Oop. Silver. We'll do some silver. I'm just going to keep doing pictographs because I can. Oh, yeah, for sure, Deb. Put the napkins in the collages, you betcha. Oh, I didn't do it again. <laughs> can you believe that? I'm telling you, I got the attention span of a gnat. Gala, be quiet. I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> For the rest of the paper. Because clearly, uh, I cannot. I'm going to try to do two hunks of this at a time. Let's get crazy. Speed this process along a little bit. Hey, Linda. All right, and let's try some ultra-fine silver. This is from Simon Says Stamp. I don't know if I can flash a metallic when I do those collages. Going over to my mom's a little later. Pick her up and head to my brother's for a Mother's Day gathering. And unfortunately, Chelsea can't make it today. Her husband's aunt passed, and today they have her viewing set up for today. So we're not going to get to see her on her first Mother's Day, but that's okay. Wow, that's kind of bright. Ooh, mommy like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, lover. Look at that little flashy number there. Spectacular. All right. Going. Anyone sell primary elements in the U.S.? You can get them directly from Color Art. Um, and I know other stores sell them. Uh, I know Queen's Inc. has them. And they now have an online website. For Queen, always tell me, hear me talk about Queen's Inc. They have an online store now. Um, but you can Google primary elements and you can find them all over the place. Um, but colorart.com is in the United States. They ship out of California. Hey, dog mom. Hey, Sue. Welcome. Be gun. I love to watch this stuff when it hits that melting point and goes from that flat gray to that brilliant silver. <laughs> I'm so easily entertained, but you know, what the hell. I'm going to do some feathers, I think. Let's do them like this. I can fit a couple. I should probably wipe that off, shouldn't I? I probably should. Mm. 
All right, voila. Oh, I didn't, I never thought their shipping was very high. Actually, if you, if you spend a certain amount, I think you um, get free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I never, hmm, I don't know. I guess it's opinion, but I never, uh, saw anything that would make me think their shipping was too high for the U.S. Oops. On there, get back in. All right. Oops. Oh crap! I got it everywhere. How do I do that? I'm trying to be so careful. You know, that one's in that crinkled piece. I don't know how that's going to roll, but we'll see. All right. Trying so hard not to make a mess, and I'm making a mess. Yeah, that's about that's about par for the course. Let me put this one away. Oh, that's pretty. All right, now let's let's throw a little daddies at that. In case there's somebody here now that can't hang around very long, we can see the result. We just gotta find daddy. There he is. what I'm going to use. Daddy Vans Furniture Polish. It's beeswax. And where's my Daddy Vans brush? I have a special brush I use for this stuff. Uh-oh. Where is it? It's right here in arm's reach. that brush. Where the hell is it? Oh, is it in the drawer with it, maybe? Can I take it out of my brush holder? No. It's not in the drawer. Oh, what the heck? Alright, talk amongst yourself. I gotta this is this is not good. This is a real stiff brush, and it has a rounded tip, and it works perfectly. Oh, here it is. Found it. This little cheapy thing. These work great. I got it at Dick Books in the store one time. All right, so here, let's see. Here's a before. See my hand underneath of there? You can see it, right? But, swirl this in here, 
Okay. Just kind of rub it on, nothing fancy. Now, this is only on one side, but you can see the difference already, right? Here and here. Right now, do the back side. I forget who told me about this trick of using this this way. Was it Kathy? Get a uh, dragonfly smiles. Was it that Kathy told me that? No. Somebody. Oh, I know who it was. It was Jan Terry. That's who it was. She discovered this. Now watch this. On both sides, it's like it's glassine. You can even see the age spots on my <laughs> hand through there now. Isn't that crazy? It just goes bye byes. Yep, I'm gonna do the rest of this while I got it out. I see somebody mentioned Shannon Green. I love me some Shannon Green. I'm glad to see her back on YouTube again. She's had rough go for a while but still has that crazy sense of humor that just tickles me to death yep. I'm just going to do all one side let me give you some just stamped in black too, not necessarily embossed. Oh yeah, Shannon is the one who discovered Daddy Van. She sure is. She sure is. She actually sent me a couple jars of it and um, she occasionally will get discounts from Daddy Vans and, and give to her viewers so they can go get it at a discount. She is the original Daddy Van girl, for sure. I remember she showed it the first time on a napkin that she was going to collage onto something. And um, the, the white of the napkin just literally disappeared. Completely translucent. All right, and this feels a little waxy right now, but when it sits, it just kind of absorbs and goes away. But now look at that. Isn't that crazy? That's really nice for collage, because then you don't have that, the white of the paper showing around the edges. I don't like that. I like it to look like I stamped it on there. Hey, Rihanna. Hey, Sophia. I, I like to, yeah, I like it to look like I stamped it on there. But, you know, as dimensional as I do my collages, unless I do the stamping as a very first layer over the paint, whether it be acrylic or watercolor, I got all kind of texture going on, and that won't work. But when I take something like this and collage it on top of it, it just forms over whatever texture is underneath of it and still looks like a stamped image. So, yeah. Put this somewhere to kind of get a little air on it and let it set up a little bit. Yeah, isn't that crazy, Lynn? So, let's... Wait a minute, this is the, that's the other stuff. This thin stuff. Come on. I know that's two pieces. There we go. And I got Daddy Vans down here underneath of this. All right. Um, I'm just going to do some black stamps with this. Yep, I'll be happy to get you some, Joan. 
Just send me a note on Facebook to remind me because by the time I go from here to upstairs, it's a goner. It's a goner. That's how long my memory lasts. But I think you must have some, Joan. And let me know, Dorothy, if you want some, um, I'll get, you know, whatever you guys want and uh, give it to Joan. She can bring it home to you. Um, go to the website and let me know what, what all you want. They actually have um, some that are colored now, but they're only like, I think, a, bra a black and a brown for like antiquing, which they might be kind of cool for some art purposes. Oh, crap. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay. Uh, for art purposes too um, and they have scented ones this is just the unscented ones Shannon actually sent me some I have a purple one I think it's lavender and I have an orange one that I haven't even used yet I've got daddy vans for a lifetime yeah we'll hook you up Dorothy Joan's going to be like a drug dealer <laughs> with art supplies. Oh, crap, that one. I wiggled a little bit on that one. That's all right. Part of it's okay. Yeah, it's just, it's all natural, unscented beeswax. Non-toxic, chemical and solvent free, no petroleum byproducts. Made in Evergreen, Colorado. Made with unrefined beeswax, olive oil, carnauba wax. This paste wax renews, nourishes, and protects, giving fine furniture and cabinetry a rich, deep glow. That's what it is. Oh, it's going through. It's going a little blurry underneath of there. All right. What else do I want to put on here? Hang on, let me let me have a little look see. A little mermaid tails. Hey, Janet. I love this stamp, this little mermaid tail border. I gotta get back to doing more of those cards. A friend of ours um, loves mermaids and um, her mom's a mermaid actually. She's buried at sea as well and um, she is the friend that took us, her and her husband took us, our family out on their a yacht basically, 80 foot yacht. It's got Seven seven bathrooms on the boat. <laughs> a lot of marble and granite, more than in my house. Gorgeous thing, but they do all kind of trips on their boat. They're down, I think they're in somewhere in Bimini right now. But anyway, she loves mermaid stuff, and I told her I'd make her some cars, uh, like I did with the watercolors on these and embossing when I first got these stamps made. Yeah, I was going to say, Lynn, before you finish that, uh, that Wren, uh, I have some of her water drop stamps, actually. They're really cool. I bet they'd look cool embossed. Oh, I wonder if I can find those. I had them in a book. 
and then I was going to take stuff out of the books and store it a different way because I never went in the books. They were too unwieldy to try to handle. Um, I wonder where they are. I wonder, wonder, wonder where they are. Looking around. I think they would look really cool embossed. Now that you mention it, where the hell did I put them? Where did I put them? Oh well, I have to do those another day. This might look cool embossed. Maybe I'll do some embossing over on the side. Oh, look, I'm going to remember to do this. Yeah, I, I don't know where the heck I put... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I see the binders over on the other table. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. One, two, three. I have three different ones. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'll come back to that one with the daddy vans. I'm not going to do daddy vans in between them. It gets this too gummed up. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this right now. Watch this. For my next trip, one, two. Ah, oh, not bad. Mark. I got a single one and this triple drop and then all these little drops like this. So let's try, let's just do one of each and see where we get. Oh, I need a block. I need a block. Now, what color do I want to make them? That, oops, see what I did? See the whole piece. Oh, wait a minute. And that's the wrong piece again. I want one of these thin ones. Hello. Try and keep up with yourself. Honestly. It's a little disturbing, to be honest. <laughs> How quickly I forget stuff. Arr. Friend Gail and I laugh at each other all the time because she's getting bad too. And I thought, we will not be allowed to live alone in our old age. Uh, let's see. Try this one. Oh, I should have stuck that one on the block with this. I'm just not that smart. That's okay. Doesn't make me a bad person. I'll just stick that in there. All right. Let's see. Hey, Virginia. Um, gold psychedelic. I wonder how that would look. Ultrafine silver, platinum. Platinum would be cool too. I don't know. Let's try this just because I've never used this before. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I have tons of those, Gala. Tons of bad habits. 
I love it when they're pointed out. <laughs> this is called psychedelic. Oh, wow. It's very sparkly. I don't know if this is just really sheer. It doesn't look like it's covering up a whole lot. Well, let me try it. We shall see. It's there. See that? Let's see what happens. He's done. Yeah. That's a classic uh, CB when I get comments about it's disturbing that I talk to the people in chat that are taking two and three hours out of their day to sit with me and chat. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> Some people just don't get it. Oh, wow, this has got multiple colors in it when it dries. Holy mackerel. It's like rainbow, not just the purple that you saw on the page. Wow. Now I get, I get the psychedelic name. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. It's very sheer, but it is literally psychedelic with all the colors in it. Ooh, that's hard to show. You're getting little flashes of it, but it's really... Let me try to hold it this way. Still not going to really show you what I see. Maybe it'll show up more when I daddy van it. But let me do some of these in different something different. I think I'm going to go platinum. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, the psychedelic is Judikins. Oh, yeah, Sophia, that would look nice on black. That is true. Let's try some platinum ones. Whoop, crap. We were hoping to get the lawn mode today. But it's still so wet from all the rain we got. Oh my gosh, it rained like crazy for a few days. I know, I'll occasionally get a not-so-happy comment about uh, having a three-hour video posted. But what people don't understand is <laughs> how much time it would take to edit down a three-hour stream into a very concise... Which I don't, I don't like that format anyway. Um, people usually like to see what I do, how I get there, when I screw up, how I might fix it, you know, all that stuff. Um, I mean, there are people out there that do very concise, five-minute perfect art videos. I am not one of them. <laughs> so find your channel. I had one lady tell me one time that I was... My long videos are not aligning with her, what did she say? This is crazy. Her art strategy, her art learning goals. I, I don't know, something like really way too technical <laughs> for what I'm doing. Like really? Harry's like, oh, I lost my spoon. Oh no, there it is. It's buried. Oh, my little clip broke off of this one. I remember now. Oh my God. It's, you gotta laugh because it's like, you know what, just skip. 
delete, move on, unsubscribe, or do what most people do and use the fast forward button or slide the timeline to skip places that you don't want to sit through. You know, but well, what are you going to do? Can't make them all happy. Oh my God, it was crazy, Sophia. <laughs> I think this will be a little more clear on the the dropped the drop pattern. The water droplets are going to look better on here because it's going to be a solid color and you can actually see the color pattern, see the shading and stuff on there already. Heat gun. They don't understand what would go into downloading a three hour uStream going through the editing process, and then uploading it back up to YouTube. We're talking hours and hours and hours. I'm lucky I got two or three hours of stream period. Whatever happens and is said on here goes to YouTube. <laughs> and I'm not editing it. This It's real life and hell with it. These are kind of cool. Oh, hello. Slippery little rascal. Hold it tight like this. You could go in here with a little pen and then that little hole right there, let's see, for that little, little glint of reflection where you make that really white in there. Unless it's going to make a difference or not on this paper. Oh, what the hell. I really like this color though. I think I need some pictographs in that color. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'll make some in the psychedelic too. Yep, exactly, Beth. As my mother would say, don't let the door hit you in the ass. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Oh, but I just saw your comment, Beth. I haven't been really watching chat doing this. Um, I'm making some collage fodder. Um, for me to rip this stuff up and use it in my collages that I cut down to make ATCs. I was usually have a stash of this stuff on deli paper with daddy vans. Uh-oh, I got some of the, ah, crap. I got some of the sparkly in my, how the hell did I do that? In my um, platinum. Yeah, well, well, maybe come out the best ever. So I'm just making a stash um, of these little bits for my um, collage drawer. So when I get going, I can reach in and grab my little bits to incorporate. Last couple of times I did one, I realized I was out of my pictograph stash and it doesn't feel right if there's no pictographs in there to me. I know that sounds ridiculous. It's true. And, uh, So I'm just making some and then I'm putting daddy vans on them. And um, here's one I did already with different colors. And I daddy van this one. So see how translucent that is? These are silver. These are antiqued. What do they call it? Turquoise or something. Um, but daddy vans on both sides of this thin deli paper makes it like really translucent and great to use for um, in collages. So that's what I'm making. Weekend.
I love this color. It's not really gold and it's not really silver. It's called platinum. But in real life, platinum I think looks more silver than this. Is it platinum? Yeah. Liquid. Hang on. Yeah, liquid platinum. That's like that too. Isn't that pretty? Mama like Patty would one of those gorgeous PE blues emboss. Oh. Well, I don't it's pigment, it's not embossing powder. So I don't think it would melt. Right? I mean, embossing powder is embossing powder. It's not just pigment. It's made to melt, so. But they kind of... <laughs> All right, let's do a couple of these little ditties. These will be cute in a collage, little droopy bits. This is one of my stencil designs that I shrunk down to put on a stamp. Hey Barb, how are you? I'm not sure what makes an embossing powder an embossing powder. Um, it must be some sort of I don't know, plastic or something that would melt. I don't think, I don't think uh, color art has embossing powders, but wouldn't they be spectacular? Yeah, right, Eileen, I just think it would blow off the paper. I do have clear. When? I have uh, that UTEE -E or whatever, ultra thick embossing enamel. There's a bunch of these right here. Happy Mother's Day to you, Barb. All right, let's see. What color do I want to make those? I've got stuff all over the place here. Let me get this. Got a little mess going. Oop, there goes my spoon. Detail gold, psychedelic, silver. Aged aqua. Maybe they'd be cool in silver. Um, I could try. I guess I could try it, but I don't want to get that stuff airborne. Um. Crap, now I'm contaminating my silver with this. I gotta get a different piece of deli. <laughs> I got that psychedelic stuff all over the place. Lordy, lordy. Okay. 
that's the thin, I need the thicker one for my drop cloth. I'll, I'll try that one. That's worth a try. I was, I'm, I wasn't talking, but I was processing that in my little pea brain thinking that might just be work because then it would be, it would be sticking, right? Perfect girl product with embossing powder for me, custom color. I'm going to try it. Brace yourself for an experiment, people. As soon as I do this. Hello, lover. Ooh, I love that. Silver. Boom. All right. Let me get my mad scientist hat on. There's those. So ripped up and found little bits of that in a collage. I think it'll look kind of cool, huh? All right. So now I'm going to get my clear. There's that. And now let me go grab some tiny calendar. Hey, my most favoriteest colors ever. Oh crap, they're still packed in my bag from when I went to North Carolina, if you can believe that. Oh lordy. African jade for sure. Thistle. That's good. I'll grab these two. Um, who made such a box I carried down here this morning? Pray tell. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm just gonna be belated. All right. Now I'm not sure how to do this, but I'm going to, so should I mix? That's what I'm going to do. All right. See, talking to yourself pays off sometimes. I'm going to take a little jar because what I'm thinking is when I put down the Versamark, I can't sprinkle one than the other because the second one won't stick, right? So I'm thinking, if I take a little clear, all right, I don't know how much I'll need of that, so I'll make up enough just in case it works. All right, and let's put in African Jade. How can you not love that color? I don't know how much. Put in that much. And then I'm going to sorely gag it around. Give me a little skewer here. So. All right, let's go for it. Oh, look at me remembering this. Let's do the whole page now because by the time I pick it up again, you know what's going to happen. 
Orla. Yeah, right, Kayla? If this works, Lynn is going to go down in history. Let's try. What the hell is going on there? Oh, it's <laughs> magnetic. Oh, I know what this was. This isn't an acrylic block. This was off a picture frame that had two pieces of this and the magnets. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? That's what it is. It's not an acrylic block. It was actually off of a Coach brand picture frame. That's why I ended up as an acrylic block, because that was not a cheap gift, I'm sure. <laughs> Must have needed an acrylic block at the time. Mountain Dreamer. Hello, dear. I know. This has the potential of looking fabulous. You're about to witness history being made, people, if this works. And I'm sure somebody probably knows this and does it, but it's not me. <laughs> so, to me. All right. Now we have some Here goes nothing, people. This is a lot thicker granules than uh, my other real fine detailed Boston powders. But I don't think that matters for this. All right, you know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the time if this works. I don't think it can't not work. Wait a minute, that's a double negative. Is that right? All right, people, stand back. Hang on to your hats. And I'm going to blow this away from me. I'll let this heat up first so it starts melting right away. Here we go. Wait a minute. You know what? I'm going to bring you guys in for this. All right. Here we go. Let this get nice and hot. Here we go. Oh, mama. Hello, lover. I'm a thinking shoes are going to work. What we got here. <laughs> Trying to let that focus. Come on, Mama, work with me. Focus. I command thee. But it's there, and it's very sparkly, and he's not coming off. Ha <laughs> ha! Winner, winner, chicken dinner is right, Safia. That's pretty stinking cool. Okay, let's do... Oh, I know. Well, I got this on here. Let's do some droplets in that blue. And I'm thinking of... A mermaid tail may be in order. <laughs> Droplets. Where's my mermaid tail? Oh, there it is underneath my other ink pad.
Yeah, I didn't think it would come off, Safi. I just wanted to test it because I didn't know how much was actually sitting on top if, like, the top layer would come off, you know? I wonder if there's fine, uh, like, detail clear embossing powder. I bet there is. I'm going to have to get some of that because... These images aren't quite as crisp as the other ones because the powder, is, the clear is a little clumpier. See how did I put? Oh, there it is. The clear is a little clumpier. Uh, it's more like salt, where the other stuff is like fairy dust or something. I mean, really fine. Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would think there would be. I just never looked for it before. And honestly, I don't think I've ever used this. And I've had this for years. And I don't think I've ever used the clear. All right, here we go. Oops, oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. I forgot I... Had it zoomed in. Forgive me. You have a court. Of course you do, Lori. Um, so you can see the drops aren't quite as crisp an image because they're real fine. And um, this thicker, you can even see the difference on the tails where this is thicker, right? But that pigment is showing through. And there another. Let's make some... Let's make another with the thistle. Thistle. I don't like to get too much of that stuff airborne, though. Um, I think I told you guys I've got to wait till July to get a retest. They found two tiny nodules in my right lung. Um, I don't know if I told you that or not. I'm not telling my mom. I'm not telling the kids. Uh, but uh, my oncologist isn't worried about it. She said it's probably nothing. Um, it may be it's something that I inhaled and they won't even see it when they retest in July. Uh, but especially because of that, I don't want to add to it. But they said, worst case, it may be breast cancer that spread. But she doesn't think so. So we got to wait till July to retest. And see where that, if there's any growth or if they're just not there anymore. That would be the good case. She said, they could be something benign from birth. And they're, so, they're too small, you can't do any other testing. You can't biopsy them. You can't... Uh, do a PET scan or anything. This one is thistle. Let's see what we get with this one. No, she said she she thinks, um, as if you remember back when Chelsea delivered the baby and I had that vasovagal response and snuffed it in the 
delivery room right after she gave birth. Um, the ER called me the next day and said they saw a spot on my right lung and they think it's pneumonia and gave me an antibiotic. Um, but I never had any symptoms of pneumonia. Um, wasn't sick at all. And it was kind of creepy because that's the same sentence my dad got when he was diagnosed with lung cancer. So uh, a week later, my GP repeated the x-ray because I couldn't get around the baby, if you remember. Um, so uh, a week later, that spot that they saw in my upper right lobe was gone. So I, a month or two later, I go for my semi-annual checkup with my oncologist, and she asks about history and what's happened and blah, blah, blah. So I was telling her about that. And uh, she said, um, yeah, you know what, let's just do, uh, let's do a scan just to take it off the table. Well, she did a scan and showed two tiny nodules in the middle part of my lung. So she said she'd be less concerned. She's not that concerned about it being lung cancer, but worst case, um, worst case would be that it's breast cancer that's spread. But she said all my other markers, she runs tumor markers on me every couple of months or every twice a year, a couple times a year. And, um, so, uh, she said she doesn't see any red flags to be concerned about it and expects that they will either be the same size in July or um, gone. Like if it was something that was inhaled. My friend Gail and I joke that it's a hunk of calamari. <laughs> um, but she settled my mind. She said even if it's worst case, she said they have such good drugs now that they're not talking about giving you years. They're talking about it giving you decades. So, you know, I'll deal with whatever it is. But... I don't want to say anything to my mom or Chelsea or Zach to alarm them until we got something to worry about. But I don't think it's... going to be anything. And I did do that heart stress test recently, right? And so my heart came back good. Um... Uh, and um, no blockages at all. Uh, a tiny bit of plaque in one artery, but they said with my age and risk factors, they would expect to see that, but I have no heart issues at all. But when they did the scan for that, they saw a small nodule in my left breast. So after a few weeks of sweating that one, it's the same nodule that my breast surgeon biopsied nine years ago and put a metal clip in it to show that it was benign. So that, I, meanwhile, I had a few weeks going there where I was worried about two of my lung and one in my left breast. So, um, that one's off the table. We're good with that one. And my heart's good. So now I just got to wait till July and see what happens there. Be good. Yeah, this I can really see. Oh, crap, I'm off screen again. Sorry. I forget that I've zoomed in. Yeah, I'm going to get some of that ultra-fine stuff because this is dries a little thicker, obviously, and clumpier. And I don't get as crisp an image, but it still looks pretty fabulous. Thank you for this brainchild, Lynn. This kind of goes through, though, and... Oh, crap, it's tearing. There we go. Oh, 
focus. Oh, I don't know why this won't focus sometimes. It drives me nuts. As I'm sure it does you. Trying. Oh, well, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, this one is thistle. It's like purple with a little bit of a blue shimmer in it. Ish. I can see where this clear kind of splashed around here, which I don't really have any concern about that. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And uh, let's whip a little daddy on this and see what how it come out. So this is that thin paper. I'm going to daddy van both sides for those just joining. It's daddy vans, unscented beeswax furniture polish. I think I missed something on the chat. Hey, Sandy. I am doing an experiment that Lynn suggested with um, mixing primary elements with uh, clear embossing powder. And it worked. So this is that really thin, more sheer Dixie wrap. I'm putting less wax on it. The other one I got a little waxier than usual, which we'll just wipe off. But oops, here's my little tear. Now see, you can see the difference. Oops, too close. We're out here where it's not been touched with daddy vans. On, on this side and on this side, you can see it's getting clearer. But now watch when I do this side. See the difference? Again, you can see the age spots on the back of my lovely hand. It's so clear. My other paper doesn't do that. And the credit for this goes to the lovely Shannon Green, who tried this several years ago on a napkin she collaged and made magic happen. <laughs> Orla, I'm, I haven't even opened boxes yet, but I'm guessing you bought some stuff and had it shipped here from Dick Blick. Maybe two different boxes. Was it two? Two boxes? It was both Dick Blick? No, I think one was the Mary Artist. And one was Dick Blick. All right. Here they are. Groovy. I'm going to hit this one with a little daddy while I'm at it. I would so much rather go to the gynecologist than the dentist. <laughs> I don't like it. And I have an appointment coming up soon. Just for cleaning, though.
<laughs> wrong end. <laughs> that tells you what I think of the dentist. I'm anxious to see how this psychedelic stuff comes out over here. What time is it? 12.21? No. The front side. I'll be all stacked up for my next collaging episode. over here on this side? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Alright. Let me zoom back out a little bit. I got you guys crunched all the way in here. These will just melt into a collage like nobody business. I'm going to hit this one up. This one I just inked. Yeah, Lindy's, I think, sells embossing powders with their pigments in it. Or embossing powders that are the same color as their pigment range, I think. I should probably do more of these just black ones while I'm doing this. I got the mess out here. But I do like that little papa in there. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some of these stamps that I found that were still packed from North Carolina, which was when the first week of April. That tells you what's going on here. Ay, yeah, yeah. If you let this archival link dry up really well, uh, it never smears when you do this. If you do it right after you stamp it, you will get a little bit of schmutz. Some of that, and I think I have. Oops. One more piece out here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp with black. I say I was gonna do, and then I didn't do it. There we go. Can you show the primary elements again? The um, yeah. Here you go, Lynn. These are after I daddy vanned them. Come on! This drives me nuts with it not focusing. Maybe too close. That's African Jade over here. And this one's Thistle. Maybe you can see a little bit better on the mermaids. Groovy. 
Struby. All right. Um, I found my little tiny round pictographs. Oh, crap, I got ink on my paper. Yeah, if anybody rides with Orla, do not let her give you directions. Just saying. You know, I should do some of these embossed because this is a really cool. I'm going to do some of these in platinum. I love this little stamp. I love you, little stamp. All right. Question mark. Uh, Joan, ah! don't make me boot you out of the chat, my friend. <laughs> It was one way, and I was only going one way, as my grandmother would say. <laughs> oh, my God. That was kind of funny. Well, funny because we didn't get killed, right? Had my car full of precious cargo. Dave's Navigator. All right, Gala. <laughs> oh, mercy. What are you going to do? It happens. I was so focused on getting you guys to Dick Blick, I took any risk that was necessary to make it happen. You're welcome. <laughs> Nobody died. I'm going to try getting away with four of these at once. <laughs> So glad everybody finds humor in my <laughs> near-death experiences. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, crap, and I didn't put my duster on there. I'm telling you. Yes. Oh. Let's back in my clear. Oh, hell, that one broke. Keep breaking off. Gold, silver, platinum. I want some platinum on these bad boys. Hmm. Get off of there. Joan, I thought about when we did that, uh, there's I said we, did the one way, wrong way to get into uh, Dick Blick's parking lot. I thought Paul's probably having a stroke thinking, uh, oh Lord, women drivers. <laughs> All right. Good. Thanks, Alfie. Glad you could join. Letting this heat up a minute before I put it down on the paper. And there you go. That's almost instantaneous. Wow. But you can really see the difference on even the smaller images, how crisp they are with this real fine powder. So I must get some of the uh, clear powder and the fine. Let's look at that. How crisp they are, the images are. 
Oh, they are going to focus. Hey, you know what? Oh, Mommy just had an idea. Hang on, people. I wonder what would happen if I watercolored over this. Um, deli paper. I don't know. One way to find out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I just placed another order with Cat. Um, let's try it. Hi, Shauna. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I've said it earlier, but I know some other people have come in. Um, let's see. Hello, Ultramarine. Where's my shocker and turquoise? Yes, it's a shocker. I'm looking for turquoise. I don't care what you say. I never watercolored on deli paper before. Hello, lover. what that's going to do or how it's going to look, but we'll see. I did emboss on watercolor paper, or Yupo and watercolor paper before and do this, but I never did it. On deli, see what happens. Don't make fun of my color choices. It's rude. <laughs> Says I don't have much imagination. Cat asked me if I'd be interested in doing a custom set of my favorite colors for her Etsy shop, which I thought was really cool. And I'm gonna guess what they're gonna be. Oh, Gail, you're just asking me about that on chat. Um, I did not, but I just placed an order for some others that I think are going to fall into my favorites, and then I'll work on that. So, um, hmm. kind of puddling where it's crinkling up the paper. But let me hit it with the heat gun from afar so I don't remelt anything, just to dry it off quickly. So I'm running out of time. I know I could blot it up, but I don't want to make a white mark in there. So that made the paper crinkle a little bit, but that would still flatten out when I put it in a collage. And of course the uh, embossing acts as a resist, right? The paint won't stick to that. That focus is really hacking me off. Focus! Ah! There we go. Sweet mother of pearl. There we go. So, that's usable. Hey, Terry. You know, of course, you know what? Let me look at my settings again because I thought I adjusted that white, whatever that was called, white something, white balance. It went back to auto again. Maybe about 50%. Do I get to save that? Save. There we go. Now let's see what that looks like. It's a very uh, much more of a green turquoise. I don't know. It doesn't look that much different today. 
but that looks very ultra ultramarine and lavender on the first time I showed it. But this is a very green. If you know what fallow turquoise is, that's what that is. Boo. I'm just watching the screen. Didn't change it much. But anyway, I'll take I wonder what happens if I daddy van. What the hell? Let's let's do it, shall we? Let's try it on the top two. Let's try it here. I know it won't make it uh, clear where the watercolor is. It'll make it clearer, more transparent. So you can see my hand through the watercolor even. Because the paper just disappeared and the watercolor is transparent. So, um, I'm just wondering what that would do. I kind of like it. I'm going to do them both. Interesting. These were just stamped, right? Let me put a little daddy on you while I got you out here. Orla, go, um, you say you're looking for Daddy Vans. Go either Amazon or on Daddy Vans website and uh, ship her here. <laughs> I'll hold it for you. I didn't, you know what, I asked you a question earlier and I missed it on chat if you answered me about Dick Blick and uh, Mary Artist. I'm sure they're yours. I didn't, um, I, I had an order out with, uh, you know, I don't think it will, Lynn. I don't think the watercolor is going to reactivate because my, all that whole collage I did. I did watercolor first and then all the matte medium and different stuff that I put down there, it didn't move anything. Any of that watercolor didn't move. I was shocked I, because that's what I expected it to do. But um, anyway, here you can see through the whole thing because the colors are transparent. Groovy. Yep, there's my little pictographs. All right, let me know, uh, Orla, if you order for Joan, too, because, um, so I don't. Groovy. All right, now what am I doing? Um. Just for giggles. Well, let me go back and show you all these that I did so far. So, well, you just saw this one, all right? We got that. That's watercolor on the deli with Daddy Vans. These are just uh, archival ink stamped. They're very transparent for the next time I must have something for collage. Um, and here's some platinum. And here's some psychedelic rain water drops. They're very uh, sheer. That that that's a very sheer. Um, let me do that. Hang on. Can you see them any better there? They really are a variety of colors, right? Oh, there we go. It started to focus and I moved it. Ah! It's like an aerobic workout holding these up to the camera, waiting for them to focus. And here's some of the silver river. I forget what I called that. River, river bubbles? River, I don't know. It's my stencil and my stamp, but I don't know what the hell I called it. Oops, wrong pile. And these are the fabulous um, primary elements in clear U-T-E-E. -E. 
That's the African Jade. And this one's on Thistle. Mixed in. And then these are just, oh, these are that, um, what's that called? Aged Aqua by Stampendous. That's pretty cool. If I can get this to catch the light right and focus, you will see why I like it. No, aren't you painful? Why are you being such a pain? Why? Why? Bag on it. Well, it's just not going to do it. And some silver ones, right? And that's what I got from my collage drawer. But now, I think I'm going to, I just got a couple more minutes. Um, get rid of that old piece. And I'm just going to see, I'm going to swap some watercolors on here and then just let it dry. And I'll probably finish drying off camera. But I'm going to do that and then I'm going to run. So I get a lot of stuff to do today and get over to my, get my mom and go to Skip's and have a little Mother's Day celebration. Put my finger on top to focus it. Let me try. Let me try to find the one that I wanted to show. Here we kill two birds with one stone. So. Let me look at my camera setting. This damn thing. Oh, Lordy, where are you? Focus. Let me see what this does. I know enough about this to be dangerous. And I'm getting nothing there. Took the autofocus off and put it closer to a macro setting. Let me try something else. Wow. Hello. Why well, not a pain in the butt? Well, don't know what to tell you. One more time. Nope, you just aren't going to do it. Mm, pain in my butt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, let me slap a little watercolor down. That'll leave me happy. Let's see. This one, ultramarine turquoise. I don't know what kind of mess this is going to make, but we may discover something wonderful today. We may not. This really sucks up the water. I thought I'd solved my uh, white balance problem and had the turquoises coming out more turquoise the last time. However, it's still looking bluer than it is on camera, which ain't 
kind of hacks me off, I got to tell you. I'm thinking I'm just going to do this and then maybe stamp over this when it dries. Maybe, maybe not. These colors are kind of looking the same on here, but they're, they are different. All those are different purples. A little indigo in there. Yeah, that really sucks the water out of the brush real quick. Oh, I know. Let's try this. Let me spritz the paper and then drop some colors in. It's probably too wet now, but that's okay. Because I'm going to do this, then I'm going to go. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Rose of Ultramarine. Let's try some of you. Yumminess. Oh, that's really crinkling up now. Don't try this at home, folks. This may not be the way to go. What's this? Shallow blue green shade. What else do we have in here? Let's try a little electric blue iridescence. We're making a mess now, girls. Twin purple. Fallow green blue shade. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise with a drop of gold that got splattered in it last time. <laughs> Oops, gotta zoom out again. Okay, I just looked up at the com the comments. No, I don't know what Gail is laughing so hard about. <laughs> no doubt it's something at my expense, but that's okay. As long as you're laughing, I'll take one for the team again. This is Amethyst, Genuine. Yeah. Big old hot mess, I think. Cobalt turquoise down here. Ooh, that's nice. You, too bad you can't see what that really looks like. That is a Schmincke color, actually. Let's get some fallow yellow green in there. Ooh, that's a pop of lime right there. Opera pink next to that. That always looks kind of cool. Patty, if you get a chance, can you email me what the list of your palette colors are? Oh, Lord. Um, do you mean the favorites that I'm going to give to Cat, or you mean everything that I have? I'll take a picture of my um, 
cheat sheet there and you can look at that. <laughs> I'm laughing at Gail when she's teaching. I think you'll be fabulous. Marilyn, Jeremiah. Oop, get out of there. I gotta get Dave to laminate that rascal for me. I think she'll do great too. Kathy, I'm not too sure of. Just kidding, she is a teacher. <laughs> Let's throw a little cascade green down the corner. Just because I can. All right, so here's this happy mess. Oh, look, a twofer. <laughs> there we go. Let's hit it with a heat gun just for shits and giggles, as we say. See what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring a lot of puckering. This actually is much prettier in person than the colors you're seeing. They look so stark and primary on the camera that you don't see all these muted turquoises and blues I've got running together there. I'm going to get it semi-dry so it doesn't um, stick to this under sheet here when I leave it. That ought to do it. Right now while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to take a picture of this. There you go. I'll send that to you, Orla. Scroll oh. up. All right. I think I'm going to call it a day, peeps. Yeah, I don't know what that's going to do. That may be a don't try this at home. I'll let you know. I'm going to leave it laying there. It'll be there the next time I get on, I'm sure. Whenever that's going to be. Um, thanks for joining me on Mother's Day, guys. I appreciate it. And I'm going to go get ready and go see my mama. And I will catch up with you guys later. Let me go save my video. Stop the recording. Okay. Bye for now, YouTubers.